So there's only one real root cause of sleep apnea. Which I know sounds pretty wild because we're told all the time there's always some sort of deficit in our anatomy. Whether it's our adenoids, maybe it's our tongue is too big, there's something wrong with our jaw. But all of that leads to the same functional problem of a airway that is a little bit more narrow and just like breathing through a straw, you will have to breathe faster to get the same amount of air. And they found back in the original sleep apnea research that this breathing fast at night would lead to episodes of sleep apnea. And this is still the same main theory that holds true today that breathing in leads to airway collapse. How it works is a slightly faster inhale that'll pull the tongue and other tissues back, blocks off the airway. So what's the best way to address that? You could completely blow it open with the leaf blower that is a CPAP. You could, you know, cut a bunch of stuff out and hope that it doesn't collapse further. Or, or if you slow down that breathing, that'll help keep it open so you sleep better at night. To get the best way to help your breathing at night, you can get a step-by-step -step protocol and also direct access to me. Click this big old red button here or click the shop button there or the website over my forehead.